Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a really fun one because we are going to be unboxing the new Zara New York City Ballet Collection. And I have two big boxes here <laughs> from Zara. And I'm really, really excited to open this with you. So Zara has collaborated with an Italian designer named Vanessa Beecroft, who was the creative director of this collaboration, which is a ballerina inspired collection. They used ballerina inspired fabrics such as tools and silks. So it's perfect for people who are non-dancers or dancers. I myself used to be a dancer so in my little heart is fluttering inside right now because I love of course Zara I do so many Zara hauls on this channel and my style is very very much inspired by ballet I love the light pinks and the silks and I was just really excited to see this and there was a girl who reached out to me, DM'd me on Instagram, Erica, who actually brought this to my attention because I didn't see their post about it. And I was immediately super excited and I ordered it online. So that is the thing is that this collaboration is online exclusive. So you can go into the stores and look for the collaboration. That's what I did in my local Zara in Soho, um, New York, of course. They had the collaboration out on display. They had some mannequins wearing a couple of the styles, the dresses, the bodysuit, you know, the little cardigan and the shoes and the dress. So I thought that that was kind of cool, but obviously you have to get it online. So I placed an online order this week and I am just going to open it up and we're going to experience this together. <laughs> box was this sweater and this was $49 and I got it in a size medium which is my usual size I love how when they do collections like this they always do a special tag and this is the same that they had on the box as well the Zara and then the New York City Ballet logo I thought that this one looked really cool in the imagery on the site because the ballerina who was wearing it, the ballet model, had it kind of off the shoulder, a little bit 80s style, and in some of the pictures they also had it with a diamante kind of thin belt. So I thought maybe I could try styling it that way, but I'm gonna throw this on. All right, so I can definitely see how this is a ballet style. I'm just gonna tuck it in right there, but I love the shape of this. First of all, it is a boat neck, scoop neck neckline here, so you can kind of see the collarbones poking out, your little decolletage here. And if you wanted to, you could kind of wear it off shoulder a little bit. Here you can kind of see my, my bra there, but um, yeah, if you were to wear like a little tank top or something, you could do it that way. But this does just feel kind of very relaxed, almost like ballerina off duty to me because uh, kind of like in between dancing and everything you do kind of put on warm-ups just to you know keep your muscles warm and So yeah, this just kind of feels like the type of thing that you would just throw on in between or like to and from dance class So yeah, um, and I love the sleeves here I love how they kind of come out naturally and then they come together at the wrist so really cute just kind of like a relaxed sweater that I feel like just kind of you throw it on and you're like yeah I don't really care I just this is it and I look good <laughs> kind of a thing and it is that uh, very pale pink color so of course that ballet pink is always this beautiful little very very pale pearl almost looking like a neutral so yes we're off to a really good start I like this a lot so just pulling out the next piece in the box is this little pair of shorts 
So I thought that this was one of the more kind of fun, exciting pieces in there. It's a little bit different, a little bit more <laughs> editorial-ish. This is $45 and I got the size small, which is my typical size in bottoms. The pattern on it is this floral shaped raised fabric detail. So as you can see here, the fabric is in the shape of flowers, almost like roses, as you can see, it's kind of swirled there. And then on the side, you have a kind of ribbon stripe going down on either side of the shorts. So very, very ballet to have some ribbons in there somewhere. So here are the shorts on. They are, not going to lie, booty shorts. They are the shortest shorts I have worn. They like, they barely, barely, barely cover your butt in the back, or at least on me. I ordered a size small, which is my usual size. I think it's just the type of short that it is, is meant to be like this. I would actually, because this is so short, I would pair this with a pair of nude colored tights. So I'm gonna throw those on real quick. Okay, so the tights definitely help. It makes it look a lot more seamless and a lot more just kind of less offensive, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, these are the Capizio tights as well. Of course, I had to do the, you know, dance on dance <laughs> situation here, but yeah, um, I think that these shorts, they remind me a lot of kind of when you wear a tutu, the little piece that's under the tutu, it's usually not shorts, it's usually like a little kind of like underwear shape, um, but I'm sure that, but they do still have like the tool on that continuing from the tutu. And so this kind of reminds me of something like that. Um, maybe, it, maybe it's sort of inspired by that, but yeah, I kind of think if you're ordering these shorts that, because it's, I got the small, which is my usual size, and it fits me on the waist. I think no, no matter what size, they are just short shorts. So just something to keep in mind. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep these. They are really fun, but realistically, I don't see a situation where I would actually wear these out of the house. So I'm gonna have to think about that. But yeah, they are a very, very fun concept. All right, let's move on to shoes. So this is one of the ones that I was the most excited about. Zara made a pair of ballet flats that look exactly like ballet slippers. Oh my gosh, they even put them in the box and like a little thing to make them look just like when you buy ballet shoes. I love all the attention to details that brands do when they do collaborations like this. All right, so here are the little shoes here. They are like almost, they're, it's definitely not silk because these are only $49, but it's like a satiny, very, very light pink material. Just a classic little flap um, a classic little ballet shoe and then they have the ribbon on the back to tie around your ankles so uh, it just completes the ballet look having the shoes I mean it's just adorable just have tied it around twice in a crisscross and then once in the back. This is what my outfit is looking like right now and I have to say that I am kind of obsessed with it. I really like it. Besides the fact that these shorts are just so short, I do think that this is just such a very, very ballerina kind of relaxed classic look. I love, love, love these shoes. I'm definitely going to be styling these with a lot, this sweater, and yeah, I feel like even just kind of hanging out at home, maybe even with these shorts. <laughs> I don't know, but yay. Next piece, which I also think is going to be a great piece because it looked amazing on the mannequin in the store, is this cream colored cardigan. And this is, as you can see, a cropped cardigan. It has big balloon sleeves and a cable knit pattern on it. It's also a wrap style, which as soon as I found out they were doing a, ba a ballet inspired collection, I was like, there's gonna be a wrap sweater. There's gonna be a wrap cardigan. 
you know, you just have to because this is the thing that you wear over your leotards. Zara had it styled on this sheer leotard. So they had this like full length leg leotard situation, but it was sheer. So it was kind of see-through. Um, so I didn't order that, but still over any just like fitted tank top would be perfect. So just a little tank top like this, just a little fitted white cami. Yeah, that's adorable. I really like that. So it's definitely like bigger sleeves. The size that I ordered is a medium, which is my usual size. And I'd say as far as like the wrap of it, it fits good, but there is just a lot of bulkiness like here and here. However, that is sort of the style and what it's meant to look like. Especially if a lot of the sweaters that you own for the that you own for the winter time are turtlenecks or they come up really high. This is a nice alternative to that to just have one where you have an open neckline and I think that this would be really pretty if you wanted to showcase some necklaces with it, like maybe a pretty gold necklace. I think that, that this cardigan is also really cute and you could style it, wrap it multiple different ways, you know, like that, however you want to do it. Wrap it and tie it so that the bow meets on the side. So tons of different ways that you could wear it, but it's a lovely kind of versatile little piece and I love the fact that it's cropped. All right, now for the grand finale, we have the tool dress. <laughs> This one was, I would say, pretty prominently featured in the imagery. It was also one of the few that was on the mannequin in the store. And this is really fun. It is totally tool. It is totally that kind of mauvey pink color. It has the sheer top right here and just the layered on layered pattern. It kind of has a break in the middle here so it's almost like a top attached to a skirt kind of a look but it is definitely a dress so i'm gonna put this on i'm so excited oh my goodness you guys putting this on was so much fluff so much tool i actually ordered a size large because they were all sold out in mediums and smalls i think large and extra large were the only sizes that they had left so i ordered the large and i do think that it is a little bit too big on me and also i think that it needs to be almost steamed in a way to let some of this tool kind of come up because i think right now it's really sort of just pushed down because it was folded flat in the box it is just so much tool and when i was putting this on like over my head it really looked just like a big tutu so it was very reminiscent of that so depending on your style i do think that you could wear something like this to an event um of course it depends on the event but if you did have something a little bit more fashiony fashion forward then i do think that you could wear this the color is very classic and the style and the fabric is as well i think overall it's really cute and i love this little sheer piece at the top because from afar you can't really see it it just looks like as if you're wearing sleeveless kind of piece but yeah it's totally adorable and i have to do a little taylor spin <laughs> in the dress all right so that is it for the zara NYCB New York City Ballet Collection. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. And then make sure to check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys next time. Okay, 